in today's video we're going to cover Studio One with the tracks that I've written. Okay, so that's Studio One. It's another DAW like FL Studio. It's as powerful as FL Studio. In some areas it may even be more powerful, um, and in other areas FL Studio is more powerful than it. Perhaps MIDI editing, it's not quite as powerful as FL Studio. That's got a ridiculously good MIDI tool set, but it's probably got a better workflow for like retiming and Melodyne for editing audio, so perhaps in an audio workflow it's a little bit more powerful, although it doesn't have all the tools that something like Edison in FL Studio would have. You'd have to go to an external editor for all of them, but for the kind of tweaks you'd want to make to a mix, it's probably better. It's also got a very good system of dropout protection, so you can run it at very low latencies and have dropout protection on that plays everything else at high latency so you can effectively put in an awful lot more plugins um, and effects and such and instruments and it won't fall over in comparison to FL Studio. It didn't used to be the case, it used to be one of the worst but they seem to have fixed it very much so recently. I like FL Studio, I like Studio One, I think they do different things, I'm quite happy to use both. But unlike FL Studio, Studio One tends to have paid upgrades. You quite often get 0.5 upgrades for free, but when it's a version upgrade you have to pay to upgrade and it's not particularly cheap to upgrade. 
fairly cheap to buy in comparison to some other doors to start with, but the upgrades are then more expensive than some other doors. The stock instruments are pretty rubbish in Studio One. The stock effects are pretty good. FL Studio's definitely got Studio One beat in terms of stock instruments. That's certainly price for price. Uh, but if you've got your own collections of VSTs, it works seamlessly with them, so you can cover pretty much anything by using uh, any VST. Older versions had trouble with some VSTs, but I've not seen issues with version 6 that I'm using now. Um, it runs VST 2.4, VST 3 absolutely fine on a PC. Can't speak for the Apple version, don't know, but the PC version is very stable. Overall, I think it's a really quite good DAW, and if you're into linear recording, linear composing, it might be a better fit for you than FL Studio but it's probably not quite as fun to work in but maybe more productive and everything is drag and drop in it and mouse driven so if you like that way of working it's a really good DAW that's probably my opinion uh, thanks for watching hope you enjoyed the music track too my singing didn't put you off too much and I'll see you in the next one